Hello all, welcome to another edition of Quick Excel. Today we're going to be going over the sum if, average if, and count if functions. Uh, when you want to do those uh, aggregation functions with a set of criteria. So let's get right into it. Alright, so first thing we want to do is do a count of orders in the West region, and then we'll do an average profit for furniture, and then we'll do a sum of sales of furniture in the West region. So count of orders. So first you put in an equal sign like any other formula in Excel. And then we'll do count. You can see there's a count if. There's also a count if s that we'll kind of brush over later. Um, so you enter that. And I'm actually going to hit this little insert function key to make it a little easier to read. Um, so the range is uh, the range that the criteria you're looking for. So in this case, we're looking at West Region. So we're looking at the Region column. So we'll go ahead and do Control Shift down to select that full column. And then the criteria is West, because we're looking for uh, the orders in the West Region. And we need quotation marks around that because it's a string. You, so you can see we got about 3,200 orders for that region. And then we're going to try and do average profit for furniture. So again, we do start putting an average, and you'll see average if. That's what we want. And then you go to this insert function again. So the range we want is the range that we're looking up, which is furniture, which is under category. So we'll go ahead and select that. Uh, and then the criteria that we're looking up is the orders that have furniture as a category. And then the average range is going to be, we're looking up profit, so we have to look for the profit column. And we'll select that, control shift down, we'll select all those. And then we click OK. And you can see average profit for furniture is about $8.70. You can also just put it in um, up here without hitting this insert button, so you would just uh, put a comma between the different fields that we entered. And then the last thing is we want to do a sum of sales of furniture in the West region. So you have two different criteria. When you have more than one criteria, that's when you use uh, the if functions with the s on them. And this is a little bit different than what you saw for the average if. In this case, you have to put in the the range that you're averaging over or summing over first. Um, so first thing we want to sum over you see is the sales. So we'll go ahead and select that, control shift down on that column. The criteria range, so the first criteria we want to look up is furniture, so that's under category. So we'll go ahead and select that column and put in furniture. You can also select a cell uh, that you might have the criteria in. And now you'll see we can put in any number of criteria we want. We'll just put in one more. Um, in this case, we want the region. In that region, we want to look for uh, just the west region. Then we click OK, and you can see there's about $552,000 of sales for furniture in the west. And you can see this is how you input it uh, if you're just manually inputting it here in this bar. And that's how you do sum if, average if, count if in Excel. All right, I hope you learned something. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you very much.